picked up some 3DM X series green resin. This is the even more ABS like resin that's got uh, elongation in the in the 20 or so range I think similar to ABS. It's also a little bit different than many other 3D printing resins in that it has a relatively low heat deformation temperature of about 80 degrees centigrade. Uh, most 3D printing resins go way high in their heat resistance and are generally more brittle. This is the kind of the DLP equivalent, I suppose. Um, the only market, uh, only resin on the market that is of the right viscosity for these uh, DLP printers that is comparable to the Form Labs tough resin, uh, which is also of similar properties, lower heat deformation temperature, but much more ABS-like toughness uh, with ABS-like um, total uh, ultimate tensile strength, rather, and ABS-like uh, deformation, or elongation, rather. So, ordered this stuff, came in from Europe, and I'm going to try printing the GoPro frame that I've been trying to, uh, to get working. The GoPro frame requires uh, bending, and so you kind of, you have to bend it around the GoPro, and regular resins uh, just kind of don't cut it. I, uh, I printed one out with a blend of 3DM ABS and the fun to do standard blend in order to make it a bit softer and then I soft cured it and that did get something that was flexible enough at first to get around the GoPro to attach but it lacks stiffness not stiff enough to be usable. So needed something that is more ABS like and so this fits the bill. The 3DM has been on the Kudo 3D forums promoting this and they posted a very nice data sheet So they posted a very nice data sheet with its properties, which are very much like ABS. And they, uh, they gave some light instructions indicating that the cure times should be similar to their 3DM ABS. So that are, those are the settings that I am using. I'm using settings similar to what I used when printing out handles and using those settings uh, handles with 3DM ABS rather and using them for this X-series resin. So I've got some settings here. Let me double check. Calibration. I'm underneath. Uh, I got a couple of bubbles in there I got to take care of. Not quite releasing at four millimeters. Okay, there we go. All right. All right, so we are ready to print. And let's run. 
runtime of an hour and a half. I hope I have enough lift on this part. We'll see. GoPro frame is a frame, and fortunately I've positioned this so it just avoids the nut. That's good. So I'm now going down with attachment layer. Probably didn't need this much attachment. Um, I upped it to 90 because I really wanted it to succeed the first time. Uh, I probably could have gone by with 60. So, so this print, let's see how it goes. So this print took about an hour and a half, which given that I'm at 100 micron, right, 0 0.1 millimeter layer height, is remarkably fast compared to printing the same part on FDM. Uh, you can't see it, but I have a PLA printed version of this that's on the GoPro that I'm using to film this right now. And that took a lot longer than this hour and a half to print. Plus you can see the bridges came out really, really nice. Right? I printed this orientation, right? And so this was against the build plate, but no problem. This overhang unsupported is totally, totally perfect here. This opening here also, no problems. Um, okay, this wasn't an overhang because I printed uh, this way. This is an overhang though, this came in. And that's nice. These holes on the side are all circular. No problem with any weird cruft on the ton on the overhanging edges. The 3DM X series also is a very nice service finish. Somehow it came out very smooth. It is hard, very, very ABS like. You can compare this in that it's flexible, right? This is quite a bit of flex. But when I tap the ends against each other, Right, you can hear that sound compared to, say these are the 3D Benchies printed in the much softer, uh, fun to do standard blend. And you can hear that dull thud because the resin is much softer here, kind of absorbs the force, but it's still strong because I can still get this open. And so I can put this onto the GoPro, which requires opening it up like this, getting it around. This is something that I, could only do once. When I printed this in my mix of 3DM, uh, 3DM ABS cured soft, I could get it around once, but the resin was too brittle to, uh, to survive going on more than once. And then I tried curing it soft, but then by curing it soft, the whole thing was kind of floppy and it wasn't stiff. And so if I now get this in, Put the let's put it this way. Let me line up the hole. Right. This is not floppy, it's stiff. Um, when I printed it out of, out of um, when I soft cured, the more brittle material on the other hand came out too soft and this would be floppy. I'd get it around and then it was still brittle and, and eventually cracked. So this is pretty nice stuff, pretty strong and definitely very, very, very ABS-like. Um, pretty much exactly like as indicated on the data sheet. 
So there it is, 3DM X series off my uh, Kudo 3D Titan 1 printing this GoPro frame. Uh, this is one I got off of Thingiverse and I made a modification to it on Tinkercad to add this, um, this bit here. This is so that I can put a booster battery on top and then use a Velcro, thread of Velcro strap to this to strap on a booster battery to the top so I can run the GoPro for longer periods of time.